What if I told you there's something that can kill you faster than the Immortal and from further range? It's the exotic Void Trace Rifle, the Wave Splitter, with a mind-boggling 0.54 second TTK. You can go on some absolutely absurd kill streaks with it. Here in this video, I'll show you how to best optimize it so that you can get Devour, so you get your full health back on kills, Volatile Rounds, Suppression, weaken and overshields on top of this we literally have easy access to all of the void bonuses in the crucible and the best part of this is that this setup can be run on all three classes i had great success on hunter warlock and even titan for wave splitter with each having their own little flavor hunter we were constantly going invisible in between streaks Warlock, we were constantly spamming Child of the Old Gods and frustrating the hell out of our opponents. And then Titan was getting the most absurd amount of overshields. Dim link for all three classes will be in my Discord, link for which will be in the comments or description below. So the key armor mod to set up all this madness is Reaper, which when you use your class ability, be it your dodge, rift, or barricade, on the next kill, with absolutely no time limit, you generate an orb of power, which opens up so many benefits. Now, Wave Splitter at base has a very impressive TTK of 0.73 seconds, which is faster than a 140 hand cannon, faster than a lot of pulse rifles, faster than a lot of current meta options in the game. It has amazing stats at base out of all the trace rifles, 100 aim assist, great stability, and perfect recoil direction, meaning it's great to use straight out of the gate. Its perk supercharged battery gives it maximum power when you pick up an orb of light. What this means is it bumps up the damage to 20 on a headshot, meaning as it's a 1000 RPM weapon, it now has an optimal TTK of just 0.54 seconds, which is absolutely bonkers. Not only that, but the gun can now also suppress enemies in this mode and it melts supers like this one in that tiny time frame. Also, when you pick up an orb of power, it auto reloads the gun as well. And then thanks to our artifact perk, Volatile Flow, we also get volatile rounds on top of all this. All in all, the gun snowballs very quickly from that one orb, so you can go on some ridiculous killing streaks. So let's talk about aspects, fragments, and gameplay loop. On Hunter and Warlock, we'll have four fragment slots, and on Titan, we'll have three. The common fragments between all the classes are going to be Echo of Starvation, which lets you get Devour from an orb of power as well, and Echo of Persistence, which lengthens not only our Devour time, but also Invis Overshield, which will be useful for all classes. For Hunter, you're going to dodge, use the aspect Vanishing Step and go invisible. The first kill is going to be pretty easy because you're invisible. Once you get that kill, you pick up the orb. And then thanks to our Fragment Echo of Starvation, you get Devour. Now the next kill has a TTK of just 0.54 seconds. We get Devour and we also activate our aspect Stylish Executioner, meaning we can go invisible again and gain True Sight because we'll be debuffing enemies with both Suppression and Volatile. I use Echo of Vigilance on top to gain Overshields whenever I'm low health and then Echo of Domineering so that whenever we do suppress targets, we automatically re reload our wave splitter and we can be multiple targets from afar without having to reload. We also generate void breaches from this which also gives us another way of getting devour. Anytime you want to generate an orb of power just throw in a dodge and keep on going on those kill streaks. For the exotic I love using Aeon Gauntlets here because anytime someone dies in a 6v6 match on your team you get a massive 25% of your class ability back thanks to set of vigor but you can use any neutral exotic like Stompies, Frosties, or Worm Husk. For Warlock, you're going to use a Rift. I preferred using Healing Rift, but you could use Empowering Rift with Second Filaments and obtain Child of the Old Gods. Child of the Old Gods goes aggressively towards the first target you hit, slows them, and applies a small damage over time. It's actually a really powerful and slept on ability that helps you secure those 1v1 kills. Once you do get that first kill, you then pick up the Orb of Power and start the Snowball. For my other two fragments, I use Echo of Domineering again, and then I use Echo of Leeching, which gives us health regeneration on melee kills. Again, for the exotic, you can use Aeon Gauntlets for the class ability regeneration, but I preferred using a neutral exotic here 
like Ophidian or Transversive. For Titan, you're going to drop a Barricade, get an Overshield thanks to the aspect Bastion, and then the second aspect, Offensive Bulwark, is going to give you increased grenade regeneration when you have an Overshield and better melee range and damage. With the Overshield and all those bonuses, you're going to get an easy first kill. Get that Orb of Power and start the Snowball. For the one other fragment I use here, I went for Echo of Leeching for both the health regeneration on melees and the 10 resilience which is going to reduce our class ability cooldown. For my exotic, my preference here was actually to use One-Eyed Mask so that we had another way of getting an overshield. But again, you could use something like Aeons for the class ability regen in 6v6 game modes. So there you have it, my wave splitter void setup that will make you a killing machine in any 6v6 game modes. It literally has every single void buff imaginable. It's usable on all three classes and it has a mind boggling TTK of just 0.54 seconds. The immortal eats your heart out. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming coming Destiny videos, both PvP and PvE. I'm Mr. Ronit, and that's it for today. Peace out, guys.